sumo fan in this age of the pandemic is a pretty odd predicament. The Honbasho or Grand Sumo tournaments feel quite somber with a limited live audience. Sporting events nowadays are certainly missing that heat and excitement that comes from a roaring crowd. However, outside of the great sumo halls, there definitely isn't a lack of spectacle. From high-ranking wrestlers getting demoted because of hostess bar trips, to tournament bans because of indiscreet midnight meetings, the pandemic isn't coming short of supplying drama to the celebrity status of sumo wrestlers. But for me personally, the oddest thing about being a new sumo fan isn't the melancholic basho mood or senior wrestlers falling to the low divisions, but the sad reality that I couldn't get to watch a yokozuna in its entire form and meaning. Today, there is only one active yokozuna, Hakuhu Sho, who is nearing his overdue retirement. And saying he is an active wrestler nowadays actually feels a bit of a stretch. And the just-retired Kakuryu had quite a lackluster career ending with multiple tournament withdrawals due to injuries. For the new sumo fan, it seems like the title of Yokozuna actually means Yokozu na ama pull out of this tournament. And as fans like myself eagerly await the next Rikishi to ascend to the highest rank of sumo, it's easy to forget that this title bears more weight than just being the sport's biggest star. Unlike other sports, sumo is a pillar of religion, tradition, and sport in Japan. And the career of Haruma Fuji, the 70th Yokozuna, is a good reminder of how a great honor can easily turn into a big disgrace in the world of grand sumo. This is the case of Haruma Fuji Kohei. He's considered a small guy in the sport, but you know he has such strength and such you know great heart and. Uh, uh, you know, he just, he just would go out and he, you could just tell he was always fighting um, and giving it his all. And he really cared um, that the fans had a good time. You know, like he, he always would say that in interviews, like, I just want to make sure the fans enjoy my sumo and, uh, you know, I work hard for them and stuff. So uh, I'm trying, you know, not to get emotional here, but uh, yeah, he just, he just great, great fighter. And so, you know, it made it almost more doubly, triply sad when you heard about these allegations. And it just seems so out of step with, with who he is and the image he projects and, and how, how much, you know, he's the guy that would hug guys at the edge to make sure that they didn't fall off the dojo. You know, this was not the guy that you would thought would just, you know, beat up somebody uh, out of the blue. So it was really disturbing um, when I heard the initial allegations and I thought, man, if this is all true, you know, what, what a crazy way for uh, him to go out, you know, to him to end his career. Haruma Fuji, or known as Ama at the time, rose to the top ranks of sumo as a technician like his fellow Mongolian wrestlers. His throws and lifts were particularly notable. One of his most memorable Honbasho performances was when he defeated the new Yokozuna Hakuho on the opening day and beat two Ozeki in the September 2007 tournament under the rank of Komosubi. But he cemented his place in many sumo fans' hearts when he performed Okuritsuri Otoshi, or Rear Lifting Body Slam, on newcomer Goido. In this Honbasho, he would receive his first Shukunsho, or Outstanding Performance Award. Down Ama can't get the win, he's in trouble. Uh, now the rear grip from Ama, it's almost impossible to escape whoa. from here and slams him down. His spectacular technique and being one of the relatively lightweight rikishi in the Makuuchi division made him one of the wrestlers to look out for. On top of his size and amazing skills in the dohyo, his komusubi wins against Yokozuna Hakuho would send fans into a frenzy. In January 2008, he would be the only wrestler to defeat Hakuho during the Yokozuna's successful bid for the tournament championship. In three back-to-back-to-back tournaments, namely September 2007, November 2007, and this January 2008 Basho, he consecutively defeated the Yokozuna and received the Shukunsho prize in each tournament. With the strong performances, all eyes were on Ama to get promoted to Ozeki. 
but he would fail to score double digits in the first three tournaments of 2008 to qualify for the promotion. However, as a great showman, in May 2008, he performed a perfectly executed uchiri or spin throw on the bales against Russian sumo wrestler Wakanaho that starkly reminded fans of his excellent technical skills. Not only that, on the 10th day of the May 2008 tournament, he ended Hakuhu Shaw's winning streak with an overarm throw sending the Yokozuna into the seats. He would then win a much-deserved Ginosho, or the technique prize that is given to wrestlers who display the most skillful kimarite, or winning technique. In the second half of 2008, Ama achieved 35 victories in three tournaments, which exceeded the generally required 33 wins for an Ozeki promotion. On November 26, 2008, Alma was promoted to Ozeki by the Sumo Association, and on the occasion, he changed his fighting name to Haruma Fuji. In his first tournament as Ozeki, well, it was a little ominous, spurring some interesting superstitions in sumo wrestling. Debuting his new name and a new silver-colored mawashi, his first four days as Ozeki in January 2009 were all losses. On the fifth day, he changed the color of his mawashi to his customary black mawashi, as some rikishi believe that the color of the mawashi can change their luck in the dohyo. And whether this is true or not, it seemed it worked for Haruma Fuji because he rallied enough to get a kachikoshi or majority wins with an 8-7 record during this tournament. He did better in the following tournament in March, defeating Asashoryu and winning 10 bouts. In the next tournament in May 2009, Haruma Fuji won his first Yusho or tournament championship after defeating Hakuho with a shitetanage or an underarm throw, fueling their rivalry with even more excitement for the fans. With this Yusho, he became the third Mongolian to win the Emperor's Cup and the eighth foreigner overall. It would take him 11 more tournaments to finally win another Yusho, after performing just well enough to keep his Ozeki rank and sitting out in one tournament after an injury. The second championship saw him win 14 matches straight, with the 14th match defeating Hakuho, who had been winning Yusho's consecutively. He ended Hakuho's winning Yusho streak at 7, if he would have clinched another Yusho right after his July 2011 championship, he would have been promoted to Yokozuna right away, but wasn't able to do so until a year later when he performed outstandingly in back-to-back -back Honbasho with not just Yusho win, but with Zensho Yusho, which means he won every match in the tournament. Having won two successive tournaments, Haruma Fuji had met the criteria for promotion to Yokozuna after four years of being an Ozeki. And with two championships with perfect win records, he was formally promoted to be the 70th Yokozuna on September 26, 2012. This promotion made him the third consecutive Mongolian-born wrestler following Asashoryu and Hakuho to achieve this rank. As Yokozuna, Haruma Fuji, as well as other Rikishi who had held this title, faced great expectations to perform at a high level constantly. The debut or the first tournament of a newly promoted Yokozuna is highly anticipated. However, Haruma Fuji seems to have bad luck on debuts, like his first tournament as Ozeki, and there would be many lackluster performances by the Yokozuna throughout his career, particularly with Kinboshi or Gold Star Bouts. This is when a Yokozuna, who is supposed to be the embodiment of the perfect sumo wrestler, is defeated by a lower-ranked Megashira. And as the very best of sumo, this is supposed to be an exceptional occurrence. Fans look forward to these kinds of bouts as underdog stories appeal to most. However, Haruma Fuji dismayed audiences when he gave up a kinbushi to Okinoumi on just the second day of his first tournament as Yokozuna. Not only that, he also was defeated in his last five matches during this tournament. 
But again, as the showman, Haruma Fuji would rise up from the flood of criticisms from his debut and pull a Zensha Yusho, or a perfect winning record championship on the next tournament that shut down any doubts about whether or not he deserved the promotion. But the Yokozuna would perform quite flat in the next four tournaments, overshadowed by Hakuho and the rising Kisuno Sato, as well as giving up Kinbushi to more Megashira wrestlers. In November 2013, the last tournament of his first year as Yokozuna, he won his sixth career Yusho and second Yusho as Yokozuna to show fans he has not lost touch just yet. After this tournament victory, Haruma Fuji would be plagued with injuries in the next years, sitting out in the next immediate tournament. But he performed well enough to be a runner-up in the next tournament to prove his status yet again, but couldn't be a serious contender for the Yusho in the next tournaments of 2014. This will be the year since 2009 that he did not win any championships. In the first half of 2015, the Yokozuna did perform well by being runner-up in two tournaments, but injuries had made him pull out mid-tournament or sit out entirely in the next two basho, until his comeback in November 2015, where he ended his two-year championship drought, with a point-lead victory over Hakuho, who lost to Kakuryu in the final match. The Yokozuna rode this momentum again in the next tournament with strong performance as runner-up and beat Hakuho to tie them in second place behind upset winner of the January 2016 tournament, Koto Shogiku. But the excellent back-to-back -back performances have reignited a knee injury and chronic ankle problems, which then made his performance fair average in the next two tournaments but made a great comeback by winning his 8th Basho in Nagoya 2016, despite giving away another Kinbushi to Okinoumi. In 2016, Haruma Fuji was second to Kisuno Sato for most victories in a calendar year with 67. Kisuno Sato had 69, while Hakuho had 62, mostly due to sitting out of the September tournament. But despite giving away a total of 32 Kinbushi by 2017 and pulling out mid-tournament in January, Haruma Fuji performed consistently well in the next Basho of the year. In May 2017, he was indicted to the all-time top 10 for top division victories with a 690 victories record. In September 2017, despite needing an elbow surgery, he took home his ninth Yusho. After his championship win in September, Haruma Fuji entered the November 2017 tournament. But on the third day, Japanese newspaper Sports Nippon broke the story of the assault of Mongolian wrestler Takano Iwa in October during a regional sumo tour in Totori. Takano Iwa was reported to have sustained injuries, including a fractured skull that made him miss the November 2017 tournament. When the news broke out, the Yokozuna withdrew on the third day of the tournament. It's really unfortunate to say that while the news of violent acts within the sumo world is shocking, it isn't that much surprising. Stories of hazing and physical abuse is very much common, especially in the lower ranks and trainees, with the most horrible report of 17-year-old Takashi Saito beaten to death by fellow sumo wrestlers allegedly upon the orders of their stable master. Discipline through extreme violence seems like the common denominator of this account, as reports said that the incident happened when Haruma Fuji struck Takano Iwa several times for looking at his phone while Hakuho was speaking to him. And for another report to come out that had similarities with the death of the 17-year-old sumo wrestler, this had re-sparked anger towards this prevailing culture of violence in the sumo world. Japanese media and the Sumo Association were quick to condemn the actions of the Yokozuna, and more complications arose when Takano Iwa's stable master, former Yokozuna Takano Hana, refused to cooperate with the Japan Sumo Association about the incident. On November 29, 2017, Haruma Fuji submitted a formal resignation and held a press conference announcing his retirement. In this press conference, he said that, as Yokozuna, I feel responsible for injuring Takano Iwa, and so I will retire from today. 
His retirement did not put a stop to the media circus, ignited further by the assault victim's stable master and former Yokozuna Takunahana. In December 28, 2017, Haruma Fuji was officially charged in Japan's summary court or law court. And on January 3, 2018, Haruma Fuji was fined 500,000 yen or 4,400 US dollars. But seemingly unsatisfied with the court's decision, Takano Iwa, with apparent encouragement from Takano Hana, filed a lawsuit in Tokyo District Court seeking 24 million yen in damages from Haruma Fuji. But later dropped the suit after Takano Iwa's family back in Mongolia faced harassment from the public. It did seem, though, that the two Rikishi reconciled when Takano Iwa faced with his own assault scandal when he beat up his attendant in front of dozens of people, retired, and Haruma Fuji confirmed attendance to his retirement ceremony, along with Hakuho and Gakuryu, while his former stable master, Takano Hana, declined attendance. Haruma Fuji in his retirement has been working in an unofficial capacity as a coach at Isegahama Stable. He also opened a school in Mongolia that offers Japanese style education by investing around 12 million US dollars of his own money. He also has been active in philanthropic activities, raising funds for other causes. He also published his own memoir, Body and Soul, in 2019. The Haruma Fuji incident spawned many complaints and harsh criticism of the Yokozuna Deliberation Council, or the YDC. These are sumo experts, prominent figures from the media or the academe, who have the power to decide who should be promoted to sumo's top rank, or when a Yokozuna should retire. Created in the 1950s to protect the Yokozuna from being treated too harshly by the JSA, and to ensure that only the most worthy candidates will get promoted. After two Yokozuna forcibly retiring due to scandalous events, it prompted a serious discussion about one of the requirements to become a Yokozuna, Hinkaku, translated as dignity and grace. With people citing that the YDC should take responsibility for promoting candidates without researching on their character, not only that, it also revived the debate about foreign born Rikishi and if they could achieve the Hinkaku needed to be Yokozuna. This was a big issue in the 1950s when multiple foreign born wrestlers seemed to be withheld from being promoted to Yokozuna despite having exemplary performances. It wasn't until the promotion of Hawaiian wrestler Akebono that the sentiment was put to rest. But setting aside the race card, conduct is an important part of the life of a Rikishi. Unlike Western athletes who are looked upon for athletic excellence, Sumo wrestlers are magnificent sportsmen who represent a religion, a whole nation, and its traditions. But can you really raise stoic sportsmen in an environment that uses violence to effectively preach discipline? Or can you even completely erase violence in sumo? They are samurai after all. As a new sumo fan, the thrill of seeing a Yokozuna in his prime is something I am eager to witness. But it's important to understand the burden of the title, the responsibility of holding such, and the great shame that comes after when one's Hinkaku falters. <laughs>